Hey everybody, so happy to be here. Happy New Year, it's 2020 and we are ready. Uh, I'm here in the office today, it's our first day back. And yes, it's my lunch hour, so I'm just shooting this video with Quincy. And I wanted to, we thought, since it's 2020 and I have all these like cool things that I love to always talk about and uh, it's, you know, coming on the new year, it would be really cool if I shared with you what my 20 favorite things were for 2020. So let's get started. So my first thing that I want to share with you is something that's been with me since I did my first DSD residency in New York in 2016. We were going up to a restaurant and I walked into this little store near the restaurant and came across, I wanted something special to bring back from New York, and I came across this little, these keys and they're called the giving keys. And the girl there said, you know, they're really cool because they actually help the help support uh, getting people who are homeless off the streets, giving them a job to create this jewelry. And it also, when the keys have a message on them, so they'll have like inspire or purpose or love or um, inspire, uh, could be uh, you know all kinds of different messages, just single words, and they're very powerful, of course. And the person who wears them feels you know special because the, the word reminds them of something but also the idea is that you give the key to someone who needs the message or needs it more than you so uh, it's just really cool idea I want to show you a couple of these things right now so I did get some in I was supposed to get them for Christmas did get them quite in time so I have them they just arrived today so I'm pretty excited about that and the one that one that I wear a lot already, and I've given away a number of keys. I've given away Dream, Inspire. Uh, I've lost a couple too. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but the point is, is that this one, for example, is the one that I wear most often. And this one, you can see that says love, and of course that is everything, right? Being kind and love, uh, loving and trying to remember that. And that is uh, one that I wear pretty often. Uh, it's gold, of course, so it may not always match with what I'm wearing, so the giving keys also come in different colors. So you can get a silver version, and this one here says Inspire, yeah. And another one is my girlfriend, actually, Anna, she got me this one for Christmas. And this one says Inspire too, but it's in the white, isn't that nice? And um, another one would be just sort of a gold with a different color. And this one says believe. See that? Again, they come in different shapes. And again, when you're wearing them, you just feel really cool. And they're just a really um, more like less dressy kind of uh, jewelry. I also have in black. So again, when you're wearing that black blouse and you want something, but you don't want it to really show too much, this one here, you can see. Oh, that one says breathe. Um, and last but not least, I actually, they, they come in now different things. So you can get earrings, you can get um, little uh, choker necklaces. And this is one that I just got and I'm pretty excited about it. And it's sort of like a shorter chain and you can see it says purpose. So yeah, so I thought that was really fitting for 2020. And again, I love to support charities or anything that helps give back to communities. So for me, it's a great message and it's a great reason to support this company. And if you want to hear more about them, they're thegivingkeys.com and they have great, um, uh, you know, different ideas, gift ideas, very special, unique. And for that reason, it's my number one pick. But my next thing is actually dentistry related and that that is my loop. So my vision, uh, again, since turning 40, I definitely need glasses, but I've always, since dental school, mandatory to wear dental loops and these are just of course a regular glasses but with an inset of magnification so the ones that I have found as to be my favorite because I used to have one with a light they all have tend to have a light with them I don't know if you can see that um, actually did I turn it off they all have a light so you can see this light and this light helps prevent our filling materials from setting and they are uh, so I get the magnification and the light and Again, I couldn't imagine doing dentistry without loops. I think it's really important that we have great vision. But what I used to find is the battery pack for the light used to be in my laboratory coat, uh, whatnot, and the string would always hang into the pocket. I'd walk by something and it would like the cord would hook into something. So I said, oh no, no more. So if we can have something wireless, then this is what I have. So it's 
one of the only wireless um, you know, loops that you can find in the world. And what's so great about them is you can see here, the battery is right inside the arm and you just charge them and you get different ones, like you get different uh, backups. So while one's charging, you see that? Um, so while one's charging, then you have that. So let's just put them on. So they rest here and the weight, and then again, I don't look too crazy, but at the same time, I have something that's really uh, easy with no, no lines. So that's like, for dentistry, that's like one of my favorite things. I could not practice, of course, without my loops. So the next thing is number three on my list of fantastic things for 2020 are my essential oils. So essential oils have been long used by many reasons. And we use them here in the office. We put them in our nice hot towels, uh, with essential oils. They're pure oil and they create a nice scent. We also have oil diffusers in our clinic and each room has pretty much or sometimes different scents depending on the day. So when you walk into our clinic, there's no sense, uh, no indication that you're in a dental clinic, but we use different ones. Now the one that I found is probably my favorite though. And this is, these are all by doTERRA. So if you look here, you can see this oil is actually almost empty. Um, this one's called Easy Air. And like the last thing patients want to smell or experience when they come into the dental office is the, uh, you know, a bad smell or dentist related smells. So we find this very good. We also use, although not part of my, um, you know, my top 20, we use uh, an air exchanger. We use the, um, different ones that keep the air purified in the office as well. But as far as creating a scent in the office, we use the doTERRA oils, and my favorite one is Easy Air. So my next, which is number four, I think, on my list, is the Digital Doc Intro Oil Camera. Now, I, there's so much going on in dentistry today with digital technology. One of the things I find I use the digital camera for, the intro camera, and it, the, the camera on is very small, as you can see. And the buttons are here on the side. But it's really incredible because very quickly, I might be doing a filling or just something really minor, uh, but it makes it really valuable to the patient to see what was wrong. And then when I open up the tooth, I may take a picture of inside of that tooth, show them how bad it was. It just motivates. So images are much more connective for most people and then it creates a sort of an emotional response. So next time maybe they're flossing or they think about brushing or they think about eating something that may be causing the problem, it just really kind of maybe sticks in their mind a little bit more than just, you know, they got a feeling and then they kind of forgot about it. So I really use it for a lot of before and afters for macro shots and I really help build value. I also use it to, of course, explain things. Of course, I also use the intro scanner for that, but when we're talking about just sort of very, uh, very specific, uh, single isolation or multiple quadrant type thing, I really like to use the digital box. So that's my number four. Number five on my list is Invisalign. So these are, there are many uh, clear liners in the world right now and patients are always thinking about, you know, what should I move my teeth? What should I move my teeth with? But the world's most advanced clear liner is Invisalign. And what I love about it is that the support that both the patient and the clinician get, and then the options that the clinician has or I have in order to create and move the teeth in a way that is predictable and safe. Um, they look like this. Of course, anybody who hasn't seen a clear liner, they kind of have this little look. They're very clear. They have uh, very advanced plastic material that is very safe and also very comfortable and very uh, predictable to help maintain the forces on the teeth while they're moving. They come in this little packaging. So you can see this is sort of like the patient gets like a little bag like this. And then inside is all the tools and the crystals and cleaning crystals and the little case that they need for that. So I, as again, as a dentist and as somebody who's had Invisalign myself, absolutely uh, number five in my uh, top things for 2020. I do have as number six uh, these retainers. Now we have patients that come in, they've had orthodontics before, or they just want new retainers. And, or when we finish our cases, we use Vivera. So Vivera is a product, you can see it in here. It's a product from 
Invisalign and it is harder, so much harder, 30% stronger than any of the clear plastic. It looks just like a regular liner, but I kid you not, it certainly assure you that it's not like a clear liner. It is a much stronger material and when you wear it, you can really feel the difference from when you're wearing clear liners. It's extremely important that patients have good retention and when you get the Vivera, you usually get four Vivera retainers at once. So you get four sets and then, you know, if something happens or even if you lost all four or use them all, you will be able to print easy with a button and using my next thing, which I'm going to talk about, which is the iTero digital scanner. We can easily print you new aligners, uh, new retainers or aligners uh, right away. So that's number six. So number seven, of course, is what ties into all of that and allows me to do a lot of the digital dentistry that I do uh, from anything in the office, which we use and it's called the iTero Element. And the iTero Element, this is the iTero Element 5D, available right now only in Canada, but coming very soon everywhere. And it is uh, an amazing, incredible tool. Allows us to just take a video of the patient's mouth and quickly and easily analyze the bite, analyze changes in the gum tissue, or uh, monitor oral health, but take impressions for things like what I was talking about, which is like the Invisalign or the Vivera. Um, when we turn it on, Uh, it's very easy, it can be transported from room to room, and in fact there's also a website and we can look up your files on any computer at any time as long as the doctor has their password. So this is again uh, the Terra Element 5D and it is number 7 on my list. Number eight, super quick about this, but really fun. I thought I'd just throw in my favorite perfume. There's all kinds of perfumes in the world, but I just thought I'd throw in my favorite for 2020, and that is by Carolina Herrera, and it is the cutest pump. So if you ever look at this, can you see that? It's just the cutest. Anyway, I can just like spray it all day. I love it. I realized I missed number seven, skipped to eight. I was so excited to talk about the Otero, but number seven is uh, my drinking cup. Of course, I love gray, white, I put my own branding on this, and it's all reusable, uh, metal, keeps the drink cold, and of course, less plastic, so that's number seven. The next one on my list is number 10, and that is the Beats uh, headphones. Uh, they are, of course, wireless, you can get them Bluetooth is everywhere, we can have all these things, but what I love about this is extremely stylish. Of course, a girl's gotta have style. We have them in the office, and we had them with our DSD room when our patients come in, and uh, actually Surf CT uh, helped get, connect us with these, so thank you Surf CT. And we really love them because they are completely um, noise cancellation, very comfortable. Jeez, the sound just changed a whole lot. Um, and I just love them. So I will even wear them sometimes uh, outside the office, but I really love them. And so that is number 10. 11, of course, has to be my iPhone 11. And uh, this, I did get the iPhone 11 in the dark green color, as you can see. And it is amazing. I'm just gonna show you, of course, the, the camera. I got the Pro. I am a total content junkie. Anybody who knows me knows how much I take video and photos daily. And I needed lots of space and I needed lots of power. And honestly, it is the only battery that can keep up with me. I've never had a battery that has lasted me all day and into the next day. So if you can keep up with me, you can keep up with anything. And again, it's super cool. I love the camera. I did get the Pro and I'm very happy with the iPhone 11. And that's number 11. Number 12. Number 12 is the Opti Rinse by X Pure. If you can see this, it has the highest concentration that we can find of fluoride. Again, it's uh, oral rinse, you spit it out, you don't need a drink for half an hour, but it has the most uh, effective and it's really doesn't taste bad. It's really great. We're recommending it to all our patients, especially those who have, you know, are higher risk for decay. So if you really, uh, you know, have either sensitivity or are at risk for decay, then I recommend the Opti Rinse by Expert. Number 13 is Cavity Cleanser. I have been using this. This is actually a 2% chlorhexidine gluconate mixture. Can you see that? For all you dental geeks out there. And patients, when we do a preparation and we 
take out the decay. We like, I like to disinfect or clean or give the tooth an exposure to an antimicrobial for up to a minute before we actually put the filling in. So we're really removing not just the soft tooth structure, but we're removing some of the um, some of the bacteria in the area as well. That can help with post-up sensitivity, it can help with bond strength, there's all kinds of things. So this is one of my favorite things, couldn't do dentistry without it, cavity cleanser, and it's just a must. Number 14 is Shutterfly. So many of you may have heard of Shutterfly as dentists. It's great to make books for your waiting room or for your treatment rooms, uh, for patients or for just Regular people, I have made amazing family books at family vacations. They take pictures right off my phone. And even though we blow them up, they give me really nice books that lay flat, excellent quality, excellent speed. Like right before Christmas, I got a bunch, everything delivered in like ahead of time. So ahead of time, I couldn't believe it. Great discounts. But what we did do for our office is we did book on, as you can see, cosmetic services. And inside of here, it has, you know, again, the, the DSD things that we do, uh, showing some of our patients. Can you see that? Yeah. And we did a case, a page on Invisalign. So this is another one that we did. And you can see we put the, the logo for Invisalign. Um, we did hygiene, so our hygienists working. These are actually real pictures of our hygienists. Uh, we did another one on dental implants, so just nice to have these things right in the operatories or right in your waiting room. So that's Shutterfly, absolutely check it out. Um, so easy to use, one of my faves. And number 15, now as a cosmetic dentist, we all know we're always searching for the greatest materials. We do a lot of techniques where we're directly working in the mouth doing veneers or bonding on the teeth directly. Sometimes we do veneers and things like that and that requires a lab. But if we're not doing that, then we have to have tools that we can repair and create, you know, re uh, duplicate the naturalness of enamel of what it looks like and to make a nice smile. So I recently did uh, a course with, um, uh, clinician's Choice, and I had De Dr. Danielle LaRose teach it, and she taught me, and these are my very favorite things I took from this course. So I kind of put them together for you so that you could, uh, again, hopefully take that course and really um, enjoy some of these products like I do. And again, if you have uh, getting work done by a cosmetic dentist, it's really great when you're using some materials like this. So some of these materials include, one is the actual type of composite, they come in these little copules, uh, and we've got, they're by Evanes, you can see, and love those, uh, you can heat them up, and so by warming the composite, it just makes it a lot nicer to, to work with. Uh, then, uh, to inject it, we use what's called the BioClear method for some of our cases, and it gives us these little uh, shells, you can see them in the back there, and it helps recreate the contours of the teeth, so I love those. I also will use uh, enamelized paste, and I'll use that with uh, like a little profi cup. You can see the enamelized here, amazing. It's like a buffing paste. And uh, then that leads me to the last parts where we do what we call buffing the teeth with what we call the FlexiBuff Mini and the ASAP disc. So absolutely, these things, I now couldn't live without them. So. I really want to give a shout out to whoever created these. Thank you very much because I absolutely love them. Number 16, and this is for all you flossing junkies out there or people who really don't love regular floss. And if I can't get you to floss with regular floss, then at least I would love to see you floss somehow. So these are handy. You can have them in your purse or in your pocket. They're great when you're at restaurants. They really get in these little areas. And so they are by Oral B and they're a professional uh, interdental pick. You can see that? Yeah. So they break off and they get right in there. They're so amazing. And patients who have, you know, some periodontal issues or if you're, you know, you're seeing the periodontist regularly and again, you're struggling or you wanna have 17 is Sonos. Now, I was introduced to Sonos a couple of years ago. My husband got them for the house. There's an app that you can get, I'll show you in a second, but they are amazing because you can connect you, all your music from your phone to any uh, Sonos speaker in the house. The sound quality is excellent. 
However, on top of that, you can really control music coming out of any speaker in any room. So we have them you know, in the kids' rooms, we have them in our living room, we have them at home. And then I was bought one for the office. So we had uh, basically built uh, this consult room where we do smile reveals with digital smile design. I was like, you know, we really need some nice music in here. So I, I did splurge a little. I got a really nice sound bar. I'm gonna show you what this one looks like. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. I just got it. Can you see that? <laughs> and it is so nice. So I'm gonna show you, oh, let's get that back. And I'm gonna show you the app for that is here. So if you can see that on my phone, can you see that? Yeah, so you go into the app and open it up. It's gonna look for a Wi-Fi connection and basically I can listen to my Spotify, any uh, connections, any type of music that I want and it's perfect because again, my phone's always near me. I don't need to go to the speaker and the sound's amazing. They all connect and actually as a shout out, I did hear a story from uh, JJ Gomez from DSD. He actually went to the Sonos store in New York and he said it was the most amazing experience of his life. And so if you are in New York, absolutely check that out. Number 18, now my, my team, they laugh at me. I said, listen, I, this next item, I want one like chained around my neck because I can't imagine I ever did dentistry without it. It is a dentistry related thing. I will tell you, but I do have to tell you what they are. And they are quick strips. You can see the box here. And on the back, they come in different, different, uh, basically, um, thicknesses and coarseness. But my very favorite one is this one. Contact breaker, oh my gosh. I mean, when you're doing cosmetic dentistry and you need to, you know, kind of make sure you don't glue the teeth together, uh, or maybe there's just something stuck in there. It's amazing. Like, I don't know how I did dentistry without it. That is my favorite thing. Again, almost uh, last thing that will be very dental or technical, but I really love it. And it has a little hole in it. So all you dental geeks out there, if you do want to put one you know, around your neck and just kind of wear it, uh, go for it. <laughs> Number 19, we're getting to the end, is DSD. Now, anybody who knows me, I became a DSD master in 2017. I did my first course, my residency, in New York at NYU with Dr. Christian Coachman of DSD team in 2016. We recently became a DSD clinic. I'm absolutely all crazy about it. It really helps us show our patients, gives them a visual, a real experience as to what their smile can look like. Now, the best part though is the support that I get. Now, one of the things that I do use the lab for besides helping me to do my smile designs and then getting me the digital files so I can really educate the patient, let the patient try their smile in, is they get these actually these um, products from the DSD lab. So you can see that. So the DSD lab, there's a DSD lab in Brazil and also in uh, Madrid and they print, they digitally print these materials and create amazing things that are just like natural and just like what we promised the patient. And so when you open up the case, uh, you get in here, let's take this out for patient confidentiality. There we go. And you can see it comes with a little box. It's absolutely stunning. If you can see all that. And it just really, it's just a really nice presentation and I'm able to you know, show the patient and get the patient excited and have more patients get the treatment that they need, but be confident in me and what we're gonna do for them. So DSD number 19. Number 20, so my last thing is oral, I mean, being a dentist, I have to talk about something about toothbrushes and my favorite toothbrushes are the following. I do love uh, the if you do have to have an electric toothbrush, some people really need electric toothbrush due to you know, dexterity things, or maybe they have some difficult areas to clean in their mouth. So if you do need to use a uh, electric toothbrush, I would suggest probably the Oral-B Genius, if you can see that. Absolutely coolest toothbrush, very smart, has all kinds of great features on it. 
and really gives an amazing clean. These uh, do retail a little higher the price point than some of the other brushes, but it's really incredible and uh, our patients absolutely love them. So if we do recommend one, we usually will recommend this one. However, there are lots out there. So, you know, if you need an electric toothbrush, go for it. However, we do have, if you're talking about just manual toothbrushes, we like to, uh, knowing how much plastic is in our environment and how that, you know, toothbrushes are, are one of the um, you know, major uh, things that we'll find in our oceans and in our, you know, as waste, because a lot of times we do change our toothbrush pretty often. So if you can have an eco-friendly toothbrush, these are actually uh, by the Humble Brush, you can see them? And I'm just going to uh, take one out of the package right here. And another thing about the Humble Brush is that it is, it comes in different colors. We do sell them here, but the sales of the Humble Brushes and the sales from um, our, uh, where we get the Humble Brushes from, some of the proceeds, or all the proceeds in my case, but some of the proceeds from the Humble Brush sales themselves, they come in this great little package, if you can just see that. Just a nice little paper package. And you just rip it out, voila, hello. And lovely and very cool. So we have, uh, again, the humble brush there. And you just don't feel quite as bad using a uh, eco-friendly toothbrush. We know how many toothbrushes that we go through. And so they have other pro pro uh, sorry, products as well. So that's at the Humble Company, Humble Co. But the Humble Smile Foundation. Now, what that does is it helps support programs so young dentists can go into communities affected by high rates of dental decay and by you know things happening uh, where in the world where they just don't have any resources and it helps them educate them and take care of them in a way that shows them empowers them shows them how to prevent dental decay but also gives them all toothbrushes the looks on their faces some of the, the programs that I've seen are so incredible and they really um, make a difference for these young kids in addition to that like I said we're not giving them we're not giving them plastic we're using something that's really eco-friendly so again that's another little charity that I love to support I am the Canadian ambassador for the humble smile foundation so you know I had to give a little plug for that so check it out and come in and purchase some toothbrushes we have them here for sale so that's it um, that's my 20 things for 2020 so that's a wrap. I really hope you enjoyed my top 20 things, my favorite things that I'm going to be using nonstop in 2020. And if you would like to share with me some of your ideas too, I would love to hear from you. If not, I really appreciate your like and subscribe to this channel. And if you'd like to give me any suggestions of something you'd like to hear more about in the future, I will be listening and I'll make sure I get that content. So until next time, take care. That's a wrap. Okay. That's a wrap. Oh no. Okay, sorry, that was cheesy. <laughs>